Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm the Nerdy Cat Mom, joined today by Courtney, actual mom, who is currently petting my cat. Because, you know, he's just... He wanted attention. He's just a big snuggle bug. He's just a big snuggle bug. All right. So, we went on a little bit of an outing on Martin Luther King Day, because uh, I was off work, and we have something in Eugene called Radar Toys. So... They don't really have a logo that I can show you, but they put stickers in every single one of their um, bags. Uh, it is a toy store, but not just any toy store. I think the logo might actually be... I'd have to double check on this, but I think it might actually be the raccoon thing. Because um, the first year that I went to the local convention, I went, that I went to Yukon, they gave out stickers. There are two, and it had like raccoons and stuff on it. I think it probably... Is there like mascot? I don't but know. I haven't actually seen anything in there. Like I, they don't. They didn't have any logos on their um, business. Oh, parts. that's true. So anyway, but they have a mascot. Maybe they just really like raccoons. Well, I mean, Rocky the raccoon, or this looks like a a wolf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I guess you're right. This looks more like a wolf. Anyway, they are a toy store. But they're not just any toy store. Oh no. They are a nerd toy store. Funkos, Legos, ugh, all the things. Uh, Citadel painting supplies, comics, DD books, comics. Yeah, it's it's a hobby shop. It's a comic it. and hobby shop. So we spent like two hours there. Okay, so first things first was the sticker that I showed you and they just you know, plain bag. Plain bag. Uh, Eugene actually doesn't. You have to buy the bag. Um, it's one of those. One of those Plastic towns. bag. Plastic ban. bag ban. First thing that. Or oh, just gonna... And in a future video, we will actually show you the inside of the store. Yes. So coming soon, we're gonna do a, a shop with me and a vlog in the store. They told me that I could. So as long I will as we take don't you film there. the mop bucket. Mop bucket. Yeah, he was bucket? like, don't. Beckett. Beckett. Fill the butt. <laughs> Film Beckett. I didn't know Beckett worked at this store. <sighs> Bucket. <laughs> I said I wouldn't, so we can film in there. So, I got a couple of things, and I'll just reach in and pull out whatever comes first. Oh, yes. I got a baby Niffler keychain. As did I. He is so cute. She got the brown and black one, and I got the white and black one. He is adorable. I love him. I haven't decided if I'm going to put him on my keys or if I'm just going to take off the keychain part and put him with my big 10-inch Niffler, which you guys have all seen if you've watched the Niffler video. Another thing that I got was I found this um, flying keys necklace. I love this thing. This is, and it's really heavy duty. So I'm just going to take it out because, you know, I'm going to wear this thing at some point. So it comes with a pretty long chain. Oh, yeah, it does. Which is great because I really hate short chains. So nice long chain with the key. Gosh, I love this thing. This thing is so cool. Anyway, so that's the second thing I got there. And then. The next oh. thing I got. What? Your. Not her hand. Oh, no. oh, no, I guess that was the one you got. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I have another one of these on the table in front of me from a different box. Um, but I got. Oh, that's the one you got from GameStop. Yes. That's right. From okay. GameStop. Anyway. This is the Funko Pop Crimes of Grindelwald pen with Antonio on it. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh, I love that. Hi, Dante. Hi, kitty kitty. That's fine. Okay, so the last thing, not really the last thing I got, um, but the very last thing will come at the end, but the last big thing I got was this Jacob Kowalski Funko. Oh, I love him. Which I also got. <laughs> yes, she got one of these too. Um, out of this set, uh, the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them set, not the Crimes of Grindelwald set, I only have Queenie. Um, but now I have Jacob. Oh, yeah. I guess yeah. it is a different set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have... Although we do keep seeing Tina. We just never grab her. Right. Right. I also have... You can get these two on Amazon. Michael. The Michaels exclusive of Newt for 
Crimes of Grindelwald, and I have the Mooncalf from Crimes of Grindelwald, and a couple and of the Antonio. other... Antonio. And Antonio. And Pickett. And Pickett. Pickett. Yep. Yeah. So, I'm very excited yeah. for this one. It's just, like, he has his little helmet on. Like, I love it. I honestly forgot get what the helmet was for. So this is when they are looking for the irrumpent in Central Park and he oh, gives him right, the right, helmet right. and okay. says, Why do why don't you have one? Oh, your head just needs more protecting than mine or something like that. He like gives it to Jacob and Jacob's like, Why don't you have one? That's right. It's been a while <laughs> since I've seen the movie. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna have to watch it again. I know. I have it. I know why did you Anyway, so that's all that I got from Radar Charlie's. There's one more thing, but we're going to save it till the very end because it harkens back. It's nostalgic. Anyway, and so... You can tell by my face how thrilled I am. I'm excited. So, and then we went to Walmart. Walmart. Um, and I got Dumbledore on clearance. He was $11. <laughs> His box is a little mangled. But that's okay. But it's just getting pulled out of the box anyway. Yeah. Not one of those, I'm worried about it being worth something later kind of things. Nope. And if it is worth something, it'll still be worth something out of the box. Just not as much. Just not as much. It's okay. But yes, I was Is his beard made of plastic? Yes, his beard is hard. Huh. His beard is hard, but his hair is soft. Um, I really wanted to get the McGonagall one, but she wasn't on sale yet. She was still like $21. And I was like, mm, not yet. But yes, I like this one a lot. I was really excited. Um, they are coming out with two new ones that I saw. The Harry and Draco in their Quidditch robes. And I really want Draco so bad. I'm a Slytherin. But I also want Draco because they don't make Draco fun Funko Pops. I've never seen one. I could have sworn I've seen one. I've never so. seen a Draco Funko. Pardon me? My, my fingers is, were fat. What is happening over here? I must show you. Oops. Oh, my Dante. 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 What is happening? Oh, my phone. There we go. See? Well, I guess you can't really see. But anyway, point is, Draco Funko Pop. $17 on Amazon. So, Dante, Dante is... Stop trying to eat the plastic. He's a crazy loon. He's a goat. My cat is a goat. I almost called he him a, a dog. dog. <laughs> Close enough. Okay. He so, used to play fetch. That is true. Sometimes he still does. When we lived together, I would legit play fetch with the cat. Yep. She would see the toy go flying past her bedroom door. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot you bought that. Oh, yeah. So the other thing I bought at Walmart was Hermione as a cat. <laughs> yeah, she picked it up and was trying to figure out why she was in Slytherin robes. And then I realized... And if you're a fan of Harry Potter, that should... Make sense. Yeah. That should make sense. She was supposed to be Millicent Bolstrode. But, nope. She uh, used a cat hair instead. I love this. This was a really great price, too. It was less than $9, which uh, is one of the reasons why I picked it up. And then the last thing that I got from Walmart is not Harry Potter themed, but it... <laughs> I love Ron and the Howler. That's really cute. I really do, too. Uh, the last thing I got is not Harry Potter themed, but it is just, like, nostalgic. It is one of these Lego Pokemon balls, <laughs> but it's Jigglypuff! Jigglypuff's, like, my favorite well, actually, character! What is it, Mega Constructs? I don't care. They're gonna be called Legos. Yeah, pretty much. Construction blocks. I like it. I have how many of those? You have Bulbasaur? Let's see, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Pikachu, Togepi. You have more than this. What Courtney is trying uh, to think of here Charmander. is Magikarp. Bulbasaur, she Bulbasaur. has Magikarp. I feel like I'm forgetting one. <laughs> but I have Jigglypuff now. Jigglypuff is one of my favorite Pokemons because she is adorable. She sings, people fall asleep, and then she gets really angry and Sharpies their face. That episode was the very first Pokemon episode I ever watched. Oh, yeah. Ever watched. You could go to Yukon dressed up like Jigglypuff. I could. And get one of those giant Sharpies that we saw. 
Yes! I mean, the thing was, like, this big around. It, it was, was at Michael's. It was amazing. I feel like for a kid it would be easy to figure out, but for some reason, as a 33-year-old adult, it took me a half an hour to figure out how to put the stupid thing together. Really? Mm-hmm. Because the instructions don't come with any words. <laughs> and so I spent a good amount of time going, okay, wait, which piece is this? Where does this go? No, do you do this first? I normally have my husband do it. Oh, okay, so yes, they're the... They're definitely not really Legos, but okay. Yeah, and then... Here's the instructions. <laughs> They're very kid-friendly. And it's... Oh, and then it's on the back, too. And it's even worse with the more pieces that you have. And I had... I The one I finally put together all by myself, I was very proud of myself, was the Bulbasaur. It took me a half an hour because I couldn't figure out which directions of the pieces went. <laughs> well, okay. I wish you... Well, actually, that one might not be as bad. Okay. Because then it, it, like... The instructions expect you to just know what some of these pieces are, and I had these two little rounded-off triangle-looking pieces that I couldn't figure out, there and it turned out face. it was Bulbasaur's fucking ears. And there's the booty. So here's the butt. Let's see. Let's see how long it takes me to put this together. Okay, so I had to speed this up because Courtney was not joking. These pieces are so tiny and you can't really tell which way is the front and which way is the back that it took forever for us to figure out how to put it together. And we were just like, are you serious? Now, it didn't help that we didn't actually use a table like idiots we just did it on our laps which is like the worst idea ever but i was determined i was determined and we're back and we're back <laughs> we stopped the camera because jigglypuff was smarter than us we're 33 years old and this thing outsmarted us it took two of us to put this thing together. But now it's together. And look at her. Isn't she cute? I like her. And her messed up paint job eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, she has a messed up paint job, but she just kind of looks like she's angry now. Which is fitting. Strictly puff. All right. So the last thing that I got, which was still at Radar Toys, was... bum ba da dum Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans! We've already had an encounter. Rotten egg. Poor thing. First one was black pepper, which, not so great sweet, but I could handle it. Rotten egg. That's the reason we have coffee. We have very sweet coffee to help us out, and we are going to be brave. I thought it was buttered popcorn! Okay, so... I'm closing my eyes, All right. picking out two beans. Okay, so here's your bean. Here's okay. my bean. Mine is pink. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so pink. Mine can be either candy floss. Oh, maybe it's just straight up candy floss. Cause I don't see a alternative. Mine's probably earwax. <laughs> All right, let's take it. Mm -hmm. Candy floss, AKA cotton candy. If this is earwax, it's not gross. It's just sweet and vanilla. -y. If it's sweet and vanilla, -y, then it ain't beer. <laughs> Um, marshmallow? Oh, there we go. That's probably what it is. Marshmallow. marshmallow. All right. One more. Not too bad. Okay, here we go. But I like the candy floss. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Last time this was rotten egg. Is that? Is, oh, is it's the that? exact same color. Oh, no. Hopefully that's buttered popcorn. 
<laughs> oh, and I think I also got the candy floss. Yeah. No, you get to pick a different one. That's not fair. <laughs> I, I got candy flosses ah. redemption. Oh, if that's booger, I will laugh hysterically. Green option right. for booger or probably pear. Pear. All right, preparatory Ready? coffee. If this is, by the way, I will spit it out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> to spit that out. I had to swallow it. It was burping rotten egg for like she, an hour. Oh my god, it was hilarious. Ugh. She swallowed it and she's like, what's the one that looks like buttered popcorn, but is it? <laughs> and okay, I was like, you know what? That's not egg. fair. We need to do this one more time. I'm and not even looking. I know. But I got rotten egg again. You pick. Close your eyes. Whoops. We only need two. Uh, okay. Uh, you got green again. <laughs> Here, I'll just... Oh, uh, okay. Sente, it's okay. Ah, shaking, shit. Nope, you just go back in there, you little bastard. Okay. I got brown you... and... Son of a bitch! <laughs> you getting green. Alright, that's it. I am not allowed. No! You're not supposed to pick. It's supposed to be a mystery. Okay, well, I'll keep the one that I have. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. It can either be sausage Ew. or dirt. Oh, no. Dirt or... No, actually, I think I'm fucked either way. <laughs> Alright, All right. well, you can just go there since I picked you. Hey, I got, blue, I got grass. grass on yeah, me. grass is not nearly as bad as rotten egg. Nope. That's not fair. Okay. She took away candy floss. There we go. Ah. Probably black pepper. Yeah, it most likely is, because I don't see a alternative to that. You ready? Yes. Last one. Yep, black pepper. Sausage. Ew. Oh, yeah, it's pretty fucking good. Nope. <laughs> No, it's dirt. <laughs> it's dirt? I had like the momentary, oh, this is sausage. Nope. Oh. Oh, God, I just gurgled rotten egg. Ah! Oh, it was stuck in the back of my throat. Oh, my goodness. Courtney's never going to want to play Birdie Bots with me ever again. I really, I, I, I honestly really like playing this game. Even if I get a really gross one. <laughs> yeah, the next time we do this, if I get that color again, the, no. the rotten egg, I'm not doing it. I can never be trusted with buttered popcorn and jelly beans again. Nope. Never, never. Which is sad because it's my favorite flavor. <laughs> You'll look at it and forever now see I'll see them egg. and be like, no, nope, can't do it. Oh. oh God, it's still there. All right. So we're going to go and try and fix this issue of rotten <sighs> egg in the teeth. Uh. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you oh, guys. Oh, God, the dirt. Dirt and rotten egg. I need gum. <laughs> <laughs> I need really strong gum. All right. So we're going to go. If you guys liked this video, Fire. go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you know when Coffee I post. Coffee does not mask it. <laughs> so that you know when I post more nerdy haul videos. We'll Hopefully they don't involve dirt flavored jelly beans. Or maybe they do. Who knows? Oh God, it's still there. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye.